Hey, how's it going, guys? Black Cat Hobbies here, and I got myself a the Mysterious Fortune pre-release kit. For those of you who aren't familiar with Cardfight Vanguard, a pre-release kit gives you two play mats. That's this nice one that I've got on my table here. Underneath all the packs, you'll see it a little better here in a moment. Eight entries at four packs each entry. Count them. Seven prize packs. And a pack of promo cards. This promo happens to be Insurance Dr. Wombach. Go figure. I do apologize that my camera's not focusing the best on the packs themselves. I think a lot of that just comes down to just how busy these sleeves, or not the sleeves, but the packs are. I mean, if you see these, there's a lot going on with these packs. So I'm going to move my stuff out of the way here. And we're going to get started. I mean, that's 39 packs to open. It's going to take a little bit. Got my trash can off to the side. I don't like having a cluttered table, what can I say? So let's get this little slip thing off here. Yeah, Got to keep them, you know, nice and separated from all the others. Four packs, as I said. So pack one does not want to open, or at least doesn't want to open well. That figures. We'll see if that means anything or not. Alright. So for those of you who don't know, this pack does contain Great Nature, Neo Nectar, and Royal Paladins. And we're starting out with a Knight of Resolution, Bethok. It's an interesting hammer there. Hopefully the camera will focus. I mean, between all the stuff in the background that's nice and focused on, we'll see what happens. I may lower the camera angle a little bit to see if it'll help. Eh, maybe not. If you guys want clear images, I can post on social media later. Let me know. Start out with, or well, we have Sergeant Minasu, that weird eggplant thing for Neo Nectar. Plant token, can't have enough of those. Intensely spicily battler capsicey. Love it. Then again, I am a fan of hot peppers, so. Night Queen Musketeer Daniel, not really sure why a queen, but okay. Lamplight of Allegiance Yona. And hopefully the lighting is decent. I actually have some daylight coming in today. And we're starting out with Double R Arboros Dragon Branch. I was hoping for that. Mostly I just really like the Arboros Dragon chain, so I was really excited to see that they're coming back. Let's leave this a moment. Because it really bothers me to see the expensive ones just sitting out outside of a sleeve. I don't know why, it could just be me. I do play a lot of magic, it could be because of that, so, pack two, it's looking good already. So we have Spring Breeze Messenger, so we have our uh, Royal Pally starter, Demonic Light Gemstone Malmuteus, I think is how that's pronounced, another plant token again, I will hopefully be building some decks out of this, we'll see how the pulls go. Correction Chinchilla. That eh, might be a little too much white out. Alright. Dictionary Goat. Because why not? Grain Sprout Maiden Enifa. And right into Arboros Dragon Timber. A second double R. Uh, I actually need to separate the regular rares out. Give me one moment. I forgot to do that on the first pack. There we go. Set those off to the side. Maybe up here or something. Get this sleeved up. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot that's going to get opened. 
And once this is done, and once the set is actually out, since it should be out, I believe it's this Friday, as of posting this, I'll probably buy a couple of boxes to hopefully complete some decks. If I do un or open those, uh, I'll probably go faster. Just because by then you'll have seen a lot that's in the set. I was going to do one for a pre-release kit from Merm or Bermuda Triangle when that comes out in January. Turns out that's not going to be a thing. My wife is disappointed. She really wanted a playmat from that one. So now i got to find a Bermuda Triangle playmat that doesn't break the bank. If you all know where I can get a good one, let me know. Alright, another Bethok. Protractor Parrot. Plant token. So many plant tokens. Another Capsicey. Daniel. Culture Gorilla. And Knight of Virtuous Intellect Gunhild. Set those off to the side. Last pack of the first entry. Let's see what we get. Hopefully this is all staying in frame. Part of why I wanted to do this is I needed some Vanguard playmats. I've dabbled in Yu-Gi-Oh, dabbled in Pokemon, played a lot of Magic, played some Vanguard back in the day, and just never really got a playmat for it. So I really wanted some playmats, but we're starting this pack with a Hamscase Classmate Pastel Marker Hama. Or Hamna. Art Club Member Pernoir. Arbros Dragon Ratoon, good, good. We've got the start to that chain. Dancing Sunflower. Watering Elf. Moral Enlightenment Maiden Melia. And we have a Knight of Sound Health. Um, well, it's a double R, and I believe that's... Kunadagius? Yeah, I'm... Um... I'm not going to try to pronounce that one too much because, yeah, that's going to make me all tongue-tied. But, hey, first entry in three double R's. I would not mind an entry like that. Reminds me back in the day going to uh, Magic pre-releases and pulling, like, three Mythics. Those were great days. Alright, so, yeah, first pre-release pat or set. Gold Pally. And grade one and two of the Arboros chain. I will take that as a start. Entry two. Another annoying sleeve. I hope they give you a little longer if it takes too long to open that. I mean, you only have four packs to build your deck out of at a pre release. But still, that sleeve that they keep them bound with is really annoying. All right, and we're starting out with Great Nature's, or a Great Nature start with Jet Ink Fox. For a moment, I was thinking it was Carbuncle, and that didn't make any sense. But another Bethok. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting to the back. Minasu. Capsicey. Daniel. The rare is a hardy acad uh, academic Antidi. So we got ourselves some ant eaters, and I might need to find myself just a blank playmat to do these on because it wants to focus on the playmat face. And TD, but we have a peony musketeer, Torre. So that I believe is yes, triple R. So first pack of entry two, and we got a triple R. Get that sleeved. I only have like six of these green sleeves, so I'll be moving to red once I'm out. I was just grabbing sleeves real fast. I didn't want to have to dig into my other sleeves just because I've got uh, decks made with them already. And my red ones, I somehow ended up with both matte and regular sleeves. And I prefer the matte because I don't like the uh, glare you get on the regular on camera. And they happen to all be sitting together, so it was a matter of trying to get... Uh, the stupid pack open, but trying to find the right red sleeves. And if the lighting in this video isn't that great, just let me know. I'm hoping to get something to diffuse the light from my lamp. I just don't have it yet, 
so I made sure I was filming this one while I had some daylight coming in through the windows, but it's still not the best. I've basically destroyed this pack now. Hopefully the cards are alright, because we're starting off with a plant token. I do love these plant token arts, though. Another Pernoir. Messenger. Dancing Sunflower. Watering Elf. Langley, so the Knight of Phosphorence, or Phosphorescence, I mean, I should say it properly. Because I know I kept hearing that word get butchered the other day. And another double R with the full Cavalier Dragon. I do like the design of that card. Yeah. I wanted this playmat because it's a nice looking one, though the March set intrigues me more. I'm really hoping it's going to be uh, Claret Dragon as the image on the mat. If so, I am definitely getting my hands on that, because Claret Dragon is just cool. But the uh, pull ratios on these can just be absurd in the pre-releases. So, Maiden of Protea for Neo Nectar. Solution Tenric, whatever a Tenric is, unless that's a name. Plant Token. I'm going to have so many plant tokens by the time this is done. Dantigal. Always need that front trigger. Elixir Sommelier. Looks like we pulled something else nice, so we'll see the R is another Gunhild. Set that off to the side because we have a daring scientist, Myra Martin. Another double R. I love the foiling on these double R's. They're just... The triples are nice, but I like that clean foiling that we get on the doubles. I don't know what it is. I just I think it's back from my Yu-Gi-Oh days. The busy foiling looks nice, really helps to kind of show it off but I just really like the clean foiling of the double R's just something about it looks so good to me <coughs> so pack one or well entry one we've pulled three double R or better and so far we're at three double R or better for entry two we've got another parrot last pack for uh, entry two and three musketeer Gaston Arboros Dragon Ratoon, good, good. Primal Vein Dragon, I'm looking forward to that. Flame of Victory, got to have those crit triggers. Okay then, I'm, oh. No, no, he's regular. It's different, I could be wrong. One, two, three. No trigger there. Trigger but common. Then we have rare Amamello Melon. Which is kind of weird because I was really expecting multiple triggers. And Observation Scribe's Snackwill, I think is how it's pronounced. But that's our double rare pack. and Well, two rare pack. So yeah, right now we're on a roll of three really nice per... Entry. We'll go into entry three. Alright. First pack for entry three. Let's hope we get something good. And I apologize if the actual tearing is off camera. I'm still not the most comfortable tearing it on camera. I feel like I'm going to bend the cards. Elderly Professor Markhor Meda. Looks like it's eating paper. Go figure. Plant Token. Interlude Angel. Dantigal. Sommelier. Culture Gorilla. And another Mara Martin. Well, it's a good thing I was wanting to try to build some great nature and uh, Neo Nectar out of this. I'm planning to introduce this game to some family. So that other video the other day with the dinos. My nephew's a big fan of dinos. Dad's a football fan. Mom's a teacher and also likes gardening. So Great Nature and Neo Necker both seem like good options. we got another pack that's a pain to open. So I'm looking into introducing those. 
when I get Bermudas, I might try my sister on that one. We'll see what happens. Not sure about the brother-in-law yet. We'll see what we might be able to find for him. All right, got that open. We're starting with a plant token for pack two. Then Maiden of Happy Phone. Okay. Cloudwing Eagle. Maiden of Protea. Sensor Mill Galago. Knight of Virtuous Intellect, another Gunhild. And that's Melia. So if it keeps following trends, that is our two rare pack. Which means these two will hopefully be good. Ah, nice easy tear. That's what I like to see. Starting out with a Tenric. Plant token. Crystal Mobilization Coirus. That's new. Slip Pangolin. Haven't seen that one yet. Correction Chinchilla. Come on. Dry Cell Rabbit. And another uh, Arboros Dragon Branch. I'm happy to see that. Since Arboros Dragons is what I want to build anyway, the more of that or the more copies of that set, the better. Last pack for this entry. Another nice easy tear. Starting out with Hanma. Gloriosa Knight. Molmuteus. Temp Clerk Damodile. Dictionary Goat. All right. So we've got a rare Providential Angel for Gold Pally. And if I can get it, the one behind it, another rare Lamplight of Allegiance Yona. So that pack entry wasn't as good with only the two double R's, but still... It's a nice setup. All right. One, two, three, four. So this is entry four. This will put us halfway through our entries before we get into the prize packs. Still looking for the really good stuff that usually comes in these. If I can get this thing off. There we go. All right. Entry four, pack one. At least I'm getting a little faster at opening these packs. I have heard I'm getting a decent amount for Christmas. I actually have some sleeves already for a starter deck that I may be playing to teach family. I haven't been told what it is. I've just been told what color sleeves I should get because I like to color code my sleeves with clans. So we'll see what happens. Plant Token. Interlude Angel. Jet Ink Fox. I'm going to need to go buy some green sleeves and some yellow ones. Foresight Courier. Dantigal. So we've got another Repulse Rod. Actually, no, I think that's the first one of those we pulled. Repulse Rod Angel. And I just put all those in the wrong stack. Give me one moment. i got to fix that or it's going to drive me insane. Yes, I am that way. I can't help it. I've tried to help it. Nothing worked. All right. Repulse Rod Angel and Hamske's Rival Red and Blue Pencil Hamhiko. It's another double R. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to get some boxes of this. And we'll see how many. It'll kind of depend on prices, how many I get. But I'm definitely going to want to bulk out some of these decks. So I really want to build an Agravain. really want to build an Arboros Dragon. And I'm not sure. I kind of want to build into Musketeers for Neo Nectar. Well, Neo Nectar as well. So I can use some more Musketeer support. And I haven't really decided. I might try to run a Hamsuke um, Neo Knights or deck, but I don't know yet. I might try to do a uh, spacing this card artwork's name. 
I also happen to have it buried at the moment. Uh, Isabel, I think it is. Might build that. All right, so we got another chorus. Hama. Gloriosa Knight. Uh, sorry, that's a little better. Galago. Pangolin. So one downside is my setup does not have my... Uh, what I'm recording this on, in view, I have to look off to the side, so it's not like I can just look up and see whether or not I'm in frame or not. Alright, Melia, and another dry cell rabbit. I am hoping to get that fixed at some point, but I'm going to need a bigger table for that as well, because my recording table, when I have to record stuff that requires it, is kind of small at the moment. Works for some things, doesn't work for something where I feel like this where I would prefer to spread out. But oh well. I do have a table in mind, I just, we gotta get this whole area set up, and then I'm gonna have to figure out how I can run cables between it without losing quality. Alright, Temp Clerk. Hopefully that is in frame, yep. Uh, chorus. Phone. Knight. Sommelier. Alright, and so there's a Gale of Arboros Oliver. So that's pleasing. We haven't pulled that yet. And Scale Toucan. I don't know, this is not the pack I would have wanted to pull. Or, well, the uh, kit. Or... Man, I cannot speak today. This is not the entry I would want to pull. That's for sure. Though, from what I just saw, it looks like we've got something nice coming in the back. So I don't know if I'd want this one because of what we're getting, or if I'd want one of the, like, three triple R's. So another meta. Plant token. Lone Gall. That's new. So I guess we could build a dog list with golds. Sensor Mill Galago. Slip Pangolin. Come on, show me the rare. There we go. Alright, so we have a Knight of Unison Uzel and Little Battler Tron Triple R. So that's something. Not sure that's really where I was going for it, but I think that works into the Agravane line. I'll look it up a little more later. But so for entry four, we got a double R and a triple. Bring those a little more into frame. Yep, double R and triple. So that's halfway through the entries. Here's entry five. Get this. Ah. I don't know. I like having them separated this way, but this part's a hassle. I may remove these all before the next pre-release kit one I do. That being said, stay tuned to the end of the video. I do have an announcement to make. I meant to bring that up right at the beginning, but oh well. We're halfway through or so, and now I'm making that comment. And, well, if no one comments on this, hey, I can't complain too much, because it benefits me in the long run. Alright. Another Gaston. Ratoon. Primal Vein. Flame of Victory. Foresight Courier. So, pack one of this entry, we're looking at a... I'm a Mellow Melon. And... Holy Great Sage of Black Shadows Isabel. That is the VR. The Vanguard Rare. Now, this is starting out to be a nice tournament entry. I mean, that on its own pretty much makes it worth entering the tournament. So we'll set that there. Hopefully my light stays good. And again, hopefully by the time I do another one of these, I'll have something to diffuse my light, because I would prefer this better lit. Or to be able to do it at night, instead of having to worry about daylight. 
Okay, forget this pack. This is how annoyed I'm getting with this pack. That's better. Ugh. And that shouldn't have damaged anything if I made sure they were down. There we go. And a Molnuteus. Messenger. Damodile. Dantagal. Familier. Phosphorescence Langley. And another Amamello Melon. What is with all the mel the melons? Alright. Can we get some more capsaicins? Those are at least for funny. I hope I have enough triggers to actually build the decks I want to out of this in time. Because I might have to wait a couple of weeks before I can actually do the uh, booster box opening. Alright. Now that this pack decided to be difficult as well. There we go. Come on. Alright. Hama. I think I saw something pretty. Protractor Parrot. Gloriosa. Galago. Pangolin. Yeah, I saw something pretty coming up. Alright. Snackwill. And fruit salad. Yes, I know it's fruits of cert dragon, but it's fruit salad. Dang it. And now I'm going to make myself hungry. But double R fruit salad. Come on, we still have some cool stuff to pull. Last pack from entry five. And these are not one to open. Okay, that was something else. For a moment, I thought my cat was going a little nuts. He does like to do that when I start talking for videos, just because he hears voices. But instead, I think that was the dryer I heard. Or something. Alright, another Pernoir. It's either the dryer or the washer. I think it's the dryer, though. Messenger. Parrot. Gotta love having a day off. Sunflower. Elf. Did we get anything purdy in this one? Another hardy academic anteat. And... Knight of Phosphorescence Langley. So... Yeah. We got Fruit Salad. And we got Isabel in this one. The Isabel might make up for the lack of double R's. We'll have to see how it turns out. I mean, I really do need, like, three more copies to build the deck for it anyway, so, along with other support. So, entry... six. Ah, uh, that opened nicely. I like that. Though, uh, yeah, from what I'm seeing, this is probably one of the two rare packs. We have a Jet Ink Fox, Pernoir, Protea, Chinchilla, Goat, and for the first, Repulse Rod Angel, and Gale of Orboros, or Arboros Oliver. Gale of something Oliver. Ugh. And I love opening packs. It always feels like Christmas. I'm sure anyone who likes to open packs has about the same idea. Cloudwing Eagle. It's even more fun to open packs for Christmas. Ratoon. Lone Gull. The Grade 3. Wait a moment. What? I just noticed something. Apparently you cannot ride this card. But it's also a 2400 power. Let's see if I can get that to focus. 
Yeah, 2400 power. Man, am I going to have to hold the cards up here? I might have to lower my camera or something. I don't know. Hey, Cap Siphon. I was hoping to see another one of those. Just because they amuse me. Musketeer Daniel. Scale Toucan. And did we... Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Peony Musketeer Martina. Triple R. I'm not complaining. I really like the Musketeers. I want to build a Musketeer deck. I could use more Musketeers. Not to mention... Oh, that was pack two, actually. I was hoping that was still pack one. I'm losing count. I opened so many packs. I would love to at one time, especially if y'all would enjoy it. I occasionally see people do things like 10 booster box openings or extra booster openings. I would love to be able to do something like that, but I don't think I have the money at the moment. If these videos start making a bunch of money, maybe. Mark or Meta, or if someone happens to donate me all those boxes, I will happily do that for the channel. But while I'm still stuck on my own income, that's a little hard to do. Plant Token, Interlude Angel, Dancing Sunflower, Watering Elf. Looks like we got something pretty coming up. All right, Knight of Unison Uzel. Set those down. And that is a Knight of Hard Work Alienor. Double R. Okay, then. So that gets a sleeve, too. All right. Last pack for this entry. Starting off with a plant token. Plant, angel, fox, dantigal, sommelier. Fairly sure that's how that's supposed to be pronounced. If I'm wrong, hey, let me know. Observation scribe, snackwill. And we got the Arboros Dragon Sephiroth. I was wanting that. Vanguard Rare. It's the top end of that Arboros Ride Chain. I'm happy we pulled one. I really wanted that. Only way that would have made it better was if, if it was an SVR. But that makes that pack. The Sephiroth, the Alienor, and the Martina. That would have been a an entry to get. Entry 7. Get this stuff off. Yeah, I might have to get the uh, plastic banding off. Just because I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time having to move that for opening all these. But I could be wrong. So pack 1 for Entry 7. We start out with a Mom Muteus. Damodile. Jet Ink Fox, Chinchilla, Goat. Start out with a Providential Angel. And. Sweet, another triple. Yeah, Triple R. Liberator of the Flute Escrad. I never complain about starting out an entry with a Triple R. Not to mention Liberator support when I get the rest of that. Because Liberator Gold Pallies can be fun. Come on. Alright. Pack 2. And we have a Maiden of Protea. Cloudwing Eagle. Gaston. Familier. Galago. Come on. Let me get the rare. Dry Cell Rabbit. And Providential Angel. Two rare pack. But what do I care? We started out with an Escrad. Pack open. Uh, it looks like we got something nice in here. Downside of it being like that. So we have a 10 rack. A minus two. Dragon. Goat. Capsizen. Yona, and Triple R, Prober of Black Jet Cecil. 
So, three packs in, but this set has two triple, or well, this entry had two triple R's in it. I think most of us would have been happy. I mean, yeah, it's not two for the same deck, but it's still two. That's always nice. And another one that's being difficult to open. So we probably didn't get anything nice in this one. That seems to be the way when they've been difficult to open. Another phone. Kairos. Bethok. Flame of Victory. Oh, we got something pretty coming up. Courier. And Titi. But more importantly, Hamsuke's rival Rocket Pencil Hamden. We are work really working on that Hamsuke stuff. But, hey, that's a double, a, a double R. So we got two triples and a double. That's a nice prize in, or tournament entry. I would have definitely been happy with my paying my entry fee if that's the kind of thing I'm pulling. Last entry, and then we have the prize packs. All right. Entry 8, pack 1. Plant token. Phone. Eagle. Victory. Courier. Enifa. And Culture Gorilla. Set those off to the side. Alright. Messenger. And let's see, I have pulled Narboros and I pulled Isabel, so I'm still looking for that. Um I'm spacing its name. It's the Gold Pally VR. Temp Clerk Domadel. Alright. Hamna. Parrot. Sunflower. Repulse Rod Angel. And come on. And a Gale of Arboros Oliver. Alright, so that was two packs. Let's see if we get anything good in this. Alright. Gloriosa Knight. Fox. Penoir. Protea. Elf, Parrot, and Knight of Unison Uzel. Ooh, this is not looking like a good entry. I feel bad for whoever would have gotten this one, possibly. We could still pull something nice in the last pack. Yeah, still looking for Aggravain. That's the one I was thinking of. But again, we do have the seven packs. So we got Eagle, Ratoon, Lone Goal, Flame of Victory, Foresight Courier, Enifa, and we have Scientist of Black Sheen Matilda. It's another Triple R, so that is a nice pull. I'm not sure it makes up for not really pulling anything else in the packs for this entry, but I'm not complaining. I did want that card. I believe it's supposed to be decent in the Isabella deck, but I haven't done a ton of research yet. So, so far, we haven't hit the prize packs, but we're looking at Matilda, Hamden, Cecil, Eskrad, Sephiroth, Eleanor, Martina, Fruit Salad, Isabel, Tron, Hamhiko, Branch, Mara, Ma yeah, Mara Martin, Mara Martin, Cavalier Dragon, Torre, Branch, Timber. I am going to need to pull more of those. And uh, Kunadagius, or, yeah, something like that. Like I said, I'm not going to keep trying to pronounce his name. 
So, that leaves us seven packs, the prize packs. And they do, from what I understand, tend to put something good in here to keep people playing for that and, so, you know, those chase cards. And I have seen some nice stuff come out of these. I was actually going to go to the tournament. Sadly, I was working. And then, well, it didn't go off. So I was able to actually pick up the whole thing. So, Eagle, Gaston, Tenrec, Galago, Pangolin. Don't tell me we're getting right off the bat with something nice. All right, Langley and Escrad. Well, if I want to build an Escrad, I'm not sure that I really want to, but it's a start. I did want to build gold pallies at some point anyway. So there's Escrad. Pack two of seven. Alright, another Chorus, Bethok, Moy Muteus. I'm not liking this pack. Too many things that are a pain to say. Capsaisi, that makes me happy. Daniel, but what I'm seeing peeking in the back makes me real happy. Snackwell, but that is pretty. Imaginary Gift XL. A really fancy version that makes me real happy okay technically Excel 2 if we're getting technical but not that the light really does it justice that really sparkles and the different colors thrown in is really nice all right pack three Oh, that one opened nice. So we have Parrot. Plant Token. Hanma. Victory. Courier. Providential Angel. And... Yona. The prize pack you don't want. Pack five from the prize support. Oh, I should say one of the ones you don't want, so they've only pulled two nice out of the prize so far. And we've only got three left after this one, so Minasu, Dragon, Phone, Chinchilla, Goat. Uh, I think I have something nice coming. Melon as the rare. But more importantly. VR Agravain. Now I just need three more. Apparently in the show the character gets a lot stronger when he gets hungry. Apparently he gets angry when he gets hungry. Makes it kind of funny to watch. But I got my Agravain. So now I have all three VRs. That is one of the nice things about these uh, pre-release kits is this sort of thing happens. Not the cheapest to do, but this sort of thing does happen. So we have a Meta, Plant Token, Lone Gall, Messenger, Daniel. Oh, only one trigger in that one. Coldster Gorilla, and Gunhild. Two more. I don't think we've pulled a double in this, so I think we've got at least a double in the prize packs coming. Pernoir. Ratoon. Protea. Dantigal. Sommelier. Antiti. And, hey, I was right. Alienor. And I grabbed two sleeves. So, 
One pack left, and of the six packs we've opened, four have contained something nice. Last pack. Some would say of Destiny. Some would also slap it. Never been a fan of that. That's just me. I don't want to risk damaging the cards, and these packs are enough of a pain to open at times. Come on. Especially when they do this. Namely, the plastic from the front doesn't tear quite right, so you're pulling plastic up even though the front's coming off. There we go. Last pack. I'll be able to move my trash can here soon. Malmuteus, or whatever. Plant Token. Bethok. Dancing Sunflower. Watering Elf. I have plastic stuck to my thumb. Yeah, get off of there. Now it's stuck to my pinky. Or, dang it. Now it's my other hand. <sighs> That's better. Malaya. And do we get a dry cell rabbit? Well, hey. So between the eight entries and the seven prize, we got Alienur, Agravain, really pretty Excel marker. Eskrad, Mathilda, Hamden, or Cecil, Eskrad, Sephiroth, Alienor, Martina, Fruit Salad, Isabel, Tron, Hamhiko, Branch, Maramartin, Maramartin, Dragon, Torre, Branch, Timber. And the thing I'm not trying to pronounce because I'm going to butcher it again. But hey, that is a pre-release kit for Card Fight Vanguard. This one was the Mysterious Fortune. I'm looking forward to the next one that comes out. Though I will probably take a pause and do Bermudas next month when they come out too. Along with next month there is a Magic the Gathering set coming out. So I will do a uh, pack opening of at least one box for that. But hey, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, let me know what I can do better. But also, feel free to comment, because from the comments, I'll probably use a random number generator. And uh, unless something comes up on... I don't know. I don't have a ton of subscribers yet, so I kind of want to give this some room to breathe. So, we'll say, I don't know, January 15th or so. I'll use a random number generator. And, uh, yeah, one lucky viewer that chose to leave a comment will win the other playmat that came with this. It is another one of Isabel. But, hey, there's only two per kit. They're not the easiest to come by. If you want a chance to win, leave a comment. And if not, well, hey... I might have a spare play mat. But yeah, if you want to be notified when I upload, hit that notification icon. Otherwise, I need to order some lunch. And I believe I have some stuff to build along with Pokemon videos to record. And there's an event going on in Destiny. I don't know if I'm recording anything on that, but it's still an event and got to keep up. So, yeah, I have been Black Cat Hobbies, and I will see you all in the next video going up. Talk to you then. Bye.